Now, hello there. It's another, it's another time for another biology lesson. And today we'll be looking at the basic ecological concepts. In other words, we'll be looking at, we'll be starting our lessons on ecology. But the first part will be the basic ecological concepts. Now, moving ahead, in this lesson, you should be able to define ecology and basic ecological terms. You should be able to describe these concepts, giving examples. You should be able to state the biotic and abiotic factors in the environment. And lastly, you should be able to state their examples and how they affect organisms in the environment. Now, moving along, we'll be looking at the concept of ecology. What is ecology? Now, ecology is the study of interrelationships between living organisms and their environment. Now, you must understand that all living organisms live in an environment where they interact with other living organisms and the non-living things in their environment. Now, it, is, it is important to understand the factors that help them thrive and survive in such environments and that is why we are looking at ecology. Now, long, we'll be looking at these basic, basic ecological terminologies that you'll be seeing or you come across in your study of ecology. Now we are going to be starting with the environment. Now what is the environment? It consists, the environment consists of all the factors, both external and internal, living and non-living factors which affect an organism. Now examples of these are light, food, water, predator, diseases, and so on. Now moving on to another concept, we'll be looking at the concept of habitat. What is a habitat? Now, the habitat is any environment when an organism lives naturally, the place that is suitable to its way of life. Now, we basically have two types of habitats. All, all habitats can be classified into two basic classes. The aquatic, which is the water habitat. Examples are the marine, freshwater, and estuarine habitats. Now, another type or class of habitat is the terrestrial or land habitat. Now, examples of these are the mountains, the ground, the arboreal habitat, the rainforest, and so on and so forth. As you can see in the picture that you have on this slide, you can see the various habitats that you have. We have the farm, we have the desert, forest, oceans, wetlands, tropical rainforest, savanna, and so on. Long, we'll be looking at another concept that you'll come along in your study of ecology, which is the community. What is a community? Now, the community is made up of all the populations or different organisms that exist together in a habitat. Now, looking at this particular habitat, you can see that you have zebra, you have the lion, you have the, you have the birds, you have the grasses. Now, all these organisms, all these different species of organisms, Living in a particular habitat constitutes the community in that habitat. Now we're moving on to another to another concept which is population. Now what is population? Now population is defined as the total number of organisms of the same species living together in a given area at a given time. Now an example is the total number of zebras as you can see in this particular picture. In this particular environment you can see zebras there. So the population, of the, the population of the zebra is talking about the total number of zebras that you can find in a particular habitat. Let's say, for example, the Yakari Games Reserve. The sum total of all the zebras that you find in, in that reserve will constitute its population. Now, moving along, we're also going to be looking at the concept of biosphere. Now, the biosphere includes all, all parts of the earth that supports life or where life exists. It includes the atmosphere, which talks about the air, the lithosphere, which talks about the land, and hydrosphere, which talks about water. So you can see that birds, you know, you find birds in the air, you find um, land animals like elephants, zebras, pig living on land, and we also have fishes and other living organisms that live in water. Now moving along, we have the ecological niche. Now, the ecological niche refers to the specific portion of the habitat where an, organi an organism is confined to, as well as the organism's functional role. For instance, you know, we find grasses on land, birds on trees, you see giraffe, you know, on land, you know, where they function. Now, in this case, the function of the tree is to provide food 
for um, herbivores you know it serves as a producer now the animals um, found in the habitat including man will serve as what as consumers so each and every one plays a role and um, carries a specific function in the habitat where the now the, moving along we're going to be looking at the concept of the ecosystem now what is the ecosystem the ecosystem refers to the community of plants and animals functioning together with their non-living environment in other words we are talking about living things interacting with their with the non-living factors in the environment now as you see in this picture this picture here you can see that we have the living components of the ecosystem we have the trees we have the birds the microbism the insects and so on and they are non-living components like sunlight heat water you know soil all working together playing a particular role in the particular ecosystem now an ecosystem is a functional and self-supporting unit of the biosphere why because there's a flow of energy now energy flows from one living organism to another in the ecosystem and also there is the recycling of inorganic nutrients so it's a self-supporting system now this picture that you see right here shows the level of organization of the ecosystem now um, in ecology we usually start with the individual organism or the species of organism and that individual organism could grow to become a population and in a particular habit, um, habitat you have various species of organism which make up the community and the living and non-living factors coming together to make up the ecosystem the various ecosystem coming together to form a biome and various biomes coming together to form the biosphere so this shows the level of organization in now moving ecology. along we'll be looking at the factors or components that make up the ecosystem or the environment we basically have two factors that make up or two two factors or components that make up the ecosystem or the environment which are the biotic and abiotic components now in this slide we'll be looking at the biotic factors now these are the living components or factors of the environment or ecosystem now you have the producers which are the plants you have the consumer which are the animals and we have the decomposers which are the microorganisms now the function the producer you know provides food they are the ones that take the the carbon dioxide uh, from the atmosphere and water and use it to make up their own food now the they serve as food for others to consume and that's why they are called producers now the consumers in the environment we have the consumers we have the various types of consumers we have the primary secondary and tertiary consumers now these these are the ones that don't produce their own food but they depend on producers and other consumers to get their own food and they play a major role in the habitat now the decomposers are the microorganisms that help to break down dead organic matter you know helping to recycle nutrients in back into the environment now other classifications we have predators we have diseases food competition now all these play a crucial role in the environment now we'll be moving along to the abiotic factors or components now these are the non-living components or factors of the environment or the ecosystem examples as you see as you can see in the picture that you have in this slide we have temperature which is the measure of heat we have light intensity we have light intensity you know that light is important in the ecosystem why because the plant uses light to produce its own food now water is also essential because without water living organisms like plants and animals will die so water is very essential in the environment oxygen yes all living organisms require oxygen for respiration and lack of oxygen will also cause living things to die now the soil the soil the rock and the minerals that make up the soil soil is very very essential and important because you know plants derive nutrients from the soil to grow now carbon dioxide concentration too is very very important because plants uses carbon dioxide to produce its food and in turn gives off oxygen for plants for animals to respire wind direction and intensity is also an abiotic factor in the environment 
Now, to summarize this lesson, we'll look at the basic points. Ecology is the study of interrelationships between living things and the environment. The basic ecological concepts to know are habitat, niche, population, community, ecosystem, biosphere, and so on. Ecosystem is the self-supporting unit constituting of both living and non-living things interacting in the environment. There are two components of the ecosystem, which are the biotic and the abiotic components. The biotic components are the living components of the ecosystem. Examples are predators, food, disease, competition, and so on. Abiotic components are the non-living components of the ecosystem. Examples are light, heat, water, soil, humidity, and so on. our lesson for today. Now, I want you to go through the assessment. Pause this video, go through the assessment, attempt to answer all the questions. And we'll see you again in the next lesson. Bye-bye.